Hey DC Collectibles fans, it's Kevin Canary here. Have you ever wondered how we come up with ideas for new DC Collectibles? Join us now as we look at how the DC Comics bombshells journeyed from concept to collectible. The whole thing started back in spring of 2011, when DC Collectibles attended C2E2 in Chicago and met illustrator Aunt Lucia and saw his portfolio of pinup art. That got the gears in our collective mind turning and they continued to turn all the way back to our office in New York. We were wondering how some of our iconic superheroines would look redesigned in a 1940s era pinup art style. In summer 2011, a few members of our team started developing some rough concept illustrations to bring the idea into focus. They studied fashion from the 1940s, as well as World War II history and airplanes from the era. We liked what we were seeing so far, but we needed to get approval to move forward on the line. So we worked with Udon Studios on some illustrations. We wanted to make sure the design still felt modern, so we looked to rockabilly culture for an influence. It resulted in four fun character designs that we knew would get us an okay. In fall 2011, DC Collectibles moved to Burbank, and one of the first things we did, after unpacking all of our action figures, was pitch the idea for DC Comics bombshells. The goal was to start with a 9-inch statue line and to hopefully expand from there. Success! Our pitch for a new line of statues was approved and it was quickly agreed that Wonder Woman would lead the way as our first bombshell. However, we wanted to push the design a bit further first, and to do that we went to the illustrator who sparked the idea in the first place, Aunt Lucia. Ant began working on the Wonder Woman illustration that would eventually become our statue, but there was some back and forth between us. You can see some unused concepts here. While Ant continued to work on his design, we sought out the perfect sculptor. We landed on Tim Miller, who had just finished working on our Before Watchmen Silk Spectre statue. Once Ant was finished with his illustration, Tim got to work. After the sculpt, the figure is sent to Jason Wires of Jason Wires Productions to be molded, cast, and painted. Almost two years after meeting Aunt Lucia, the DC Comics Bombshell's Wonder Woman statue arrived in stores. The line was an instant success. Word of it soon reached DC Comics Publishing, who celebrated the line with a whole month of variant covers. Even better, Fans have really gotten behind the line, many of them cosplaying as DC Comics bombshells at conventions. So, for the DC Comics bombshells, where has the road from concept to collectible led us? To 12 amazing and highly sought after statues, and one of our most successful lines of collectibles. And we're not stopping yet. Batter up! Say hello to our newest DC Comics bombshell, Batwoman. This just announced statue with a baseball theme is pulled directly from our Bombshells variant cover month and will be in stores in fall 2015. Thank you for making the DC Comics Bombshells a resounding success and for joining us for this trip through time as we journeyed from concept to collectible. <laughs>